Hi, welcome to a quick two or three minute video. So this program uh, developed over Christmas, took two or three weeks actually, trying to find an MP3 file name when you don't know what the name is, then find it, get its size, allocate the right file length to read it off the SD card as it's exactly written on the SD card, then send it to the MP3 player chip. That's more difficult than sending data to the chip. Now, if you're a Microelectronica user and you've got a development board with the MP3 player decoder, which is also a WAV decoder and OGD, OGG decoder, and I think it does MP4s of various formats, or you've got an MP3 sort of click board, this program is for you. So I can't play this music at the moment because it's copyright protected. So if I give you a demo, I've got a little speaker plugged into the headphone socket. I bought this for a tablet, but rechargeable battery. If I take out this card, so it resets because it was in the middle of playing. Put the card in. It finds the boot sector, which is actually sector zero, then the root directory, then finds the first track, then all the rest. Finds a location and starts playing them. That's actually Alison Moye. So I've incorporated Microelectronica's MP3 sample, which just played one track called, I think it was called sound.mp3. Use that sample as a building bridge to develop more software. As I say, it took two or three weeks to develop this. So it's fully automatic. There's a left and right volume. Controlled by RA. 4 and 5 and 0 and 1 up left and right and down left and right so the file size has to be 128 kilobyte sampling rate so that divided down is 16,000 kilobits per second and this is it's got a timer interrupt but that file size and counter and this progress bar is reliant upon that 16,000 kilobits per second so it's got to be 128 kilobyte, and I believe this MP3 decoder chip doesn't like any more than 160 kilobits anyway, 160 kilobyte. There's one main C file, and it's called MP3, it's actually revision 4 I'm on now, and there's a font file and two or three header files, got to uh, include all those. If you're not familiar with Microelectronica's MP3 player, have a look at the top of the main C file. You've got to adjust these switches over here for the SD card and the audio. Um, these for the SD card. And you've got to use a pull up for the switches down here and pull downs for the switches to adjust the volume. So that's playing Alison Moye. It's not all Alison Moye, it's just one track of many. Well, 24, what I can do is I've got one royalty free piece of music from Google. Put that in there. Turn the speaker on. It just finds the tracks and plays them. If I turn the volume up. Although this sample music sounds a bit distorted, but there you go. So you can see this was just one of one, but this picked up one of 24, I think it was. You can have about 30 tracks on this program. There you go, that's finished. So I'll have to turn the speaker off, but, so I'll have to reset it as well now it's finished. So if I just show you, put that in there, reset. So boot sector at sector zero, finds the root directory, 
Four ways here. And there you go. Quickly turn the music off. And that's it. There's a default volume when you reset it. I think it's, I've called it mp3s player stuff.h. Uh, you can find the initial volume in there, but you can see I'll turn it up and uh, left and right for left and right headphones. Left and right. There is a glitch. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's a job for you guys, seeing I can give you the program for nothing. This nail playing. Uh, comes up after the file assigned, but so you see here it's written there that now playing is written there and then after it displays the name of the file Sometimes this now playing disappears. So why does it disappear? Because that comes before that yet yeah, that sometimes disappears uh, On occasion I've had the file assigned disappear. Yeah, it will still play the file So I don't want guesswork if you have a look through the file, let me know what you think it is. But I don't want to guess what. So to say, for microelectronica users, sample software is on Libstock as a project. So just use the package manager, download the, you know, the whole package and install it. For those of you who don't use microelectronica, I'll put the software in the link below. It's on the Google Drive. So download and have a play. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.